Hi there. My name is Maina. Welcome to my mathematics class. In this class, we would like to study SADS. And uh, for this particular one, we have two objectives. One, to multiply SADS. And two, to see how SADS are, can be divided. We want to start with a SAD multiplied by itself and then we see what uh, we will get. So, when we multiply, for example, the cube root, the square root of 2 by the square root of 2, we need to remember the laws of indices. Where we are saying a raised to a half, this one compares to a raised to a half multiplied by a raised to a half. And from the laws of indices, these two halves will be added. When the base is the same, we add the indices. And therefore, this will give us uh, a raised to a half plus a half, which is a raised to one. It therefore means when we multiply the square root of two by the square root of two, we will get two raised to one. Because square root of two means a power half, I mean two power half. And uh, the other square root of two, two power half. Two power half times two power half, same base, we add the powers, and therefore it becomes two power one. So when you multiply a third by another one, the square root sign by the same one twice, the square root sign is no longer there. One more example on that, square root of three multiplied by square root of three, multiplied by square root of 3. The first 2 will give us 3 power 1. And then we will still remain with root 3 here. And therefore the product will be 3 root 3. So that is when we multiply as add by itself two times or three times, you have to bear in mind that uh, every two will give us power one. Uh, now, let's see what happens if the sides are not the same. So we have another example. And uh, here we have root two multiplied by root three. Again, in this case, we have to get back to our indices where we had different bases but same power. And this gives us, uh, we can compare, rather we can compare this with um, A power half multiplied by B power half. Here we, we remember that the power remains so that we have a b raised to power half or just like a b raised to power half therefore um root two multiplied by root three will give us two times three root as the same as uh, 6, the square root of 6. So in general, we can say the square root of m multiplied by the square root of n, that is where the sides are different, but they are under the square root sign like that, will give us the square root of m n. 
So um, we can apply that when we are multiplying different sides. One more example. 2 root 3 times 3 root 2 will now give us, first of all, we multiply 2 by 3 so that we get 6. And then uh, whatever, what, what is under the square root sign, we will multiply according to this law and therefore we will get 6 root 6. Let's now look at division. And we, we look at first of all where uh, Assad is being divided by a similar one. For example, um, 6 root 2 divided by 3 root 2. We can consider this to be like a situation where you are dividing 6a by 3a. And therefore, the answer in this case will be 2 root 2. In general, when we are dividing sides, we will apply the laws of indices. Where we say, for example, square root of m divided by square root of n we compare this to the laws of indices where we had same power but different bases um, being divided. And so this is similar to um, square root of m divided by square root of n, that is m power half divided by n power have. And according to the laws of indices, this will be square root of m divided by n. Um, we can look at an example. Root 3 divided by root 2 will simply become square root of 3 over 2 same as square root of 1.5 square root of 1.5 so we stop there for now in the next lesson we will look at further simplification by multiplying by the conjugate when we are dividing sides